On today's episode, I want to review a hotel website from strategic perspective, user experience, and visual aspects. Let's go. What's up and welcome to another week of Designer Mind. I want to share a design review today. I just got back from vacation in Greece in a super nice hotel. I thought, why don't we check out their website and see why they did what they did? Can it be improved? Can we, you know, give them feedback about how to do things better? And maybe you can learn along the way. So let's dive right into it. So basically, this is the hotel. Let me just refresh it so that you can see just starting up. It's called Greco Hotel Corfu Imperial. And right at the top, we have this huge pop up that says, Why book with us? And I think that at this point, it's worth considering for a second what was the strategic goal when they were designing and building this website? Like, what were they? Are trying to do here and I think that it's quite obvious from this pop-up but in general if you would just think strategically what would a hotel want then one of the top thing that hotel would want you to do is to book through their website now as you might have known today, there's like gazillions of ways to book hotels. Um, most popular ones might be booking.com and Expedia, which is usually where I personally and a lot of other people do the booking because, you know, sometimes your credit card is all, already there, but a lot of times you check out the reviews and, you know, you, you do your um, order through them. It's just more convenient. But as a hotel, one of their strategic um, goals or stuff that they wanted to happen was that you book through them and it makes sense from business perspective because of two things that you need to understand first of all they have when you're booking through a third party site like booking.com they have to pay them affiliate fees so actually a hotel is making less money if they're booking through somebody else the second thing is that when the uh, the person is booking through another site actually the one who gets the contact information is booking.com and the hotel only gets paid and sees the name of the customer so they're not actually a customer they're not on the mailing list so the hotel can't directly contact them and market to them so obviously a customer that the hotel acquires through their own website is much more valuable they're making more money on that customer and they can contact them further down the line so it will be more valuable to them so when you're working with a client, it's always super important to understand what their strategic goals here. And in this case, it's pretty obvious that their strategic goal is to let's make them book through us versus other people. So when you're, let's go back into the website, first thing that you see, and they're, they're doing this animation even to take even more attention, and it might be quite annoying, but the first thing they want you to know is to answer the question why you should book with them. And they're just giving you a bunch of reasons here that they're saying, if you're booking through us, um, you get a lot of stuff that you won't get on booking.com or Expedia. Um, also, you can see that their logo here doesn't really perform really well on small sites. So that is something that I might consider. I don't know, here they're using just the typography. I I don't know why they didn't use it here. I, I think it would look better, but, um, but that's the strategic point of this pop-up. Now, when I close it, it kind of reduces itself on this thing. They want you to keep it with them all through the, the website. But I have to say that, you know, this tiny little thing, I wouldn't remember or know further down the line. Why, why is this still here? I might want to use it. If so, why? Um, you know, a lot of times this might look like the chat element or something like that. So this thing is right now without really context. Now let's go back into this homepage. Now, right now as you can see we're just seeing an image now this is not initially what was here let me see what was the first slide so basically this is a gallery the first one this one actually had an offer so again they're trying to say that um giving you some offers that are only available on the website so they're trying to get you to view the offer i have to say though that th throughout the website the way that they're laying out typography over the images is not very readable and it it you can see that here as well. I'm not gonna hover because then you'll get some kind of an overlay, but you can see that 
they've tried to fix that by adding a little bit of a drop shadow, but it doesn't really work very well. I think this could be solved with either adding some kind of an overlay, which just makes the image a little bit uglier, or you know, you have this image here, which is a really good image, and you can lay out the text in just a different composition, like putting it here over the dark area or over the clean area of the water. If you would just use a different layout, this would look much cleaner. You could actually see what's going on in the image because right now they're actually hiding the main thing that you want to see here, the property and, and how it looks. Now on this one, this is the same thing. Here you have clean images so you can really see this and that looks really beautiful. Um, but the truth is I actually hate this kind of a homepage carousel. And the reason is it takes about, and the way they've set it up and it makes sense because there's a lot of content on it, it takes like 20, 30 seconds before this scroll. So honestly, in most chances, you're not gonna see the other ones. You're just gonna scroll down. So you might as well just get rid of it because nobody's ever gonna see this. And nobody, I assume most people are just gonna scroll down to see more stuff than, than scroll here to see just different images of the hotel. So I personally don't like the use of these kind of carousel sliders on the top. Let's talk a little bit about the navigation. There's a lot of things going on here. So obviously there's this main navigation and then there's this secondary utilitarian navigation with the language, the uh, currency and also share and also you can log in. Um, and when you're scrolling down, they actually are being combined into one menu. And I think you can really see it when you scroll down, there's just a lot going on here, right? There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight elements, and then a call to action, which is actually nine buttons. Here, besides this, I think this is way too much. You know, the normal, the, the memory that a person has is usually set to seven objects, plus or minus two, but usually, you know, in terms of best practices for user experience, we're trying not to have more than seven elements for you to choose from, because when you're reading them, by the time that you've reached the seventh one, you're, or the eighth one, you're not gonna remember what the first one is going to be. So it's just too much for your cognitive, um, you know, memory to remember. And I think that when you see uh, such long um, navigation, it really means that they've, they, they didn't want to make trade-offs and their strategy is not that clear. So we're, we're, I think we're clear about their top priorities, help book with us, but everything that afterwards, the strategy, I don't think it's really clarified around like who's the target audience because I can see from here that they're both trying to aim for weddings and then so maybe weddings is one target audience, but then there's also meetings and then over here there's also kind of like kids. And so I think that they were not they didn't make the hard decisions about what are we going to put as a high level versus what are we going to put here under the overview, which by the way, I don't really understand what overview means. I mean, I know that when I see this, I get this drop down menu, which by the way, is weird that it takes up this whole space. I mean, why would it hide the whole screen if it's just a drop down menu and there's no other drop down menus here or there is for for dining, I guess. But I don't think it makes sense to hide the whole screen just because you have here just like one menu. But um, in general, I think that they should have made kind of a trade-offs and decide if something here can be reduced or taken down off. And in the overview, which is again, I click the overview, I get to the home page, which is weird. Usually you click the logo to get to the home page. So I think they could have done a better work here on the navigation. And specifically when you're scrolling down, you see that this becomes really, really way too tight. Let's see what happens if the screen is smaller. Yeah, this gets way too, way too tight. So obviously they need, they needed to do, um, I think they could do with less items here. Now, when you're scrolling down here, again, I've, I've made my comment about, you know, not having enough contrast um, and it does look, I guess, better when you know, you're hovering over it. But then something that annoys me in a lot of places is it's obvious that you can click here and you can see if I click the accommodation, it's a link. And if I click the more button, it's a link. But if I click here, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't link. And that's something annoying that a lot of time happen. And I feel like this is kind of a bad user experience. You would expect this to work. You can see from the hover interaction that this whole area 
means that it's for the accommodation. So why I, do I have to only link here? So I think this is a little bit of a bad user experience which can be improved. Now, going down here, um, there's this video which actually I think is it's a pretty nice video because again, this hotel is a really, really nice hotel. I really loved it. I think it's actually an incredible hotel and you can't really see it from this website. I mean, let me close down the, I think this video would actually be much more impressive it was at the beginning of the website just put it as a background video and just play it around instead of trying to show me here different aspects you can just play a video in the background that'll be much more impressive instead of they put it way 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 down where I'm, I'm more than likely to click something else and lose it and not actually end up seeing this video um, this could be fantastic as an opener for the hotel um, just to show it so let's say this is the home page. Let's go and see the accommodation. So let, let me click this. So here we have special offers, which I don't know why they have some kind of a bug here. Check this out. It looks like this is transparent. They forgot to add kind of the background <gasps> to this kind of a window to, to the pop up. Um, so that's kind of weird. Never mind. Anyway, so note again what happens. Now this is special offers, but I remember from the first page that this was why book with us. So they're using the same element for two different things, which might confuse me or I won't be able to find what I thought I'm going to find here if I got used to, if you taught me th something like always click the arrow to see why book with us. Uh, again, I don't think it makes sense to keep that. I think the window, the pop-up window should just disappear. But if you do make me learn that this is what hi hides behind the arrow, then why put something else here? Now, here, um, we have the same problem here where I can't really click here. I need to click only here or here to go see. And, and also, I want to learn more about this room, right? So book now actually takes me to booking which is not what I want to see compare it it's not what I want I actually want to learn more about this book uh, about this room and I'm trying to click here because this is what I think will help me get to do what I want but no out of three buttons it's only this one and I have a lot of um, space for error so I guess um, again, it's, it's something that I think can really be improved upon um, to help me get to do what I want to do first. Now, in this compare type of thing, there's a, bu there's a bug here. You see, I chose two things to compare. Now look, because we don't have enough space here, and I don't even know if I make the screen larger, it fixes. It doesn't look like it's even fixes. Oh, so here's the thing. Now we have here to compare, and the book just jumps to the same spot. So again, this is first of all a bug and a bad design, but it just in general, you're trying to squeeze too many things into the into this navigation area. Um, I would think about probably somewhere else to put this down. Um, when we're inside the room, looks now here, in of all places here it would make sense to make maybe do this gallery oh that you have here okay but i would probably want to do this here just to see more pictures of the same room um, i do like that they put the floor plan that's a lot of the time the reason that actually i'm going into the hotel's website versus the booking.com because i really want to see how the room is structured uh, specifically for me can i fit kids here or something like that um, so this is nice, I guess. Um, let's see how the booking process works. So you're supposed to choose check-in, check-out, let's say to adult, check. Okay, so I can see at this point that now I've been redirected into a different website so they don't host the, they don't host and manage the reservation. They're using a service called Reserve Online. And I guess, okay, I'm not going to judge the user experience here. It's, it's a different service that does it for them. Pretty much looks like, um, looks like any other booking site available. All right, so this was a quick review of the website. Again, I think this hotel is really nice, and I think the website is not up to the standards of the actual hotel itself, which is, you know, 
specifically this hotel, I didn't pick it just because, you know, I went there with my parents and they, they are the one who chose the hotel. But if I would to go and check this website before I book there, I might not realize the quality of the website and uh, the quality of the hotel because I would judge from the website, from the tiny, I would say, the details that are not aligned, then maybe the hotel is not top hotel, which it actually was. And so I, I would look into improving those things in the website. But overall, I hope this was valuable for you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the website, how it can be improved, and I'll see you on the next video.